Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China had unveiled its high attitude high speed drone the WZ-8 at the National Day Parade held in the Beijing on October 1st 2019 for the first time. However, the recent satellite images shows presence of numerous drones including Winglong 2 Divine Eagle WZ-7 and 8 in the front of UAV hangars at the Malan Air Base in Xinjiang province. The one which has raised concern for US and India is a black triangular shaped drone can be seen parked at the site. It is being speculated that the China is hosting a secretive unmanned aerial vehicle fueling speculations which could be a hypersonic drone. However, it is debatable if the drone can really glide at a hypersonic speed. Many media houses are reporting it to be a hypersonic drone as its shape resembles a hypersonic glide vehicle. It has a unique dagger or triangular shape with small wings at the edge. If we look at the report from Global Times, which is a mouthpiece of Communist Party of China, the reconnaissance drone is likely able to fly at a high supersonic speed and have stealth capabilities. Therefore, it would be unwise to call a drone a hypersonic one and it could be just another propaganda. In today's video, we'll be analyzing in detail about the drones deployed at China at Malan Air Base so that you get to know the exact capabilities of Chinese drone and stay away from the rumors. The first drone that we'll be talking about and many of you would have heard is Wing Lung 2. This is the same drone that China is exporting to Pakistan in large numbers. We have also made a detailed video on Wing Lung 2 and the link for the same can be found in the description section. In short, Wing Lung 2 is a medium altitude long endurance drone capable of both combat and surveillance missions. The Wing Lung 2 has a length of 11 meters, a wingspan of 20.5 meters and a height of about 4.1 meter. It has an endurance of 20 hours maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour and a operational radius of about 1500 kilometers the drone has fierce attacking capability powered by four hard points where it can carry anti tank guided missiles the next drone regarding which we'll be talking is wz8 also referred as dr8 is a high speed reconnaissance drone The WZ-8 is an air-launched high-speed high-altitude unmanned reconnaissance aircraft that is recoverable via runway which means it can be launched from a bomber or a transport aircraft. The drone has been designed for high altitude operations and high speed and even some media claims it having a hypersonic speed. But the bigger question is that China is still struggling with advanced jet engine propulsion technology. how it could build a hypersonic drone the answer would be using the rocket propulsion the implementation of rocket propulsion provides far more simpler and straight forward implementation providing the drone extremely high speed and altitude however a pair of open cycle liquid fuel rocket engines can be configured in a side by side arrangement on the aircraft displayed However, there are many limitations to it. It limits the drone range, flexibility and maneuverability. Also, since the rockets are of single use, the question that remains unclear is whether WZ-8 engines can be reused. Talking about the speed of the drone, the details are remain unclear. But the high supersonic range would be my guess somewhere between Mach 3.5 and Mach 4.5, which is not exactly hypersonic. but it is amazingly fast it also gives pla the ability to gather intelligence in a survivable and rapid manner without getting detected in enemy's radar which is a major limitation of the conventional spy drones the next drone which we're talking about is divine eagle and it is a little known jet powered chinese uav the divine eagle is a unique double fuselage uav designed and produced by Institute of Shenyang Aircraft Corporation SAC it is a airborne early warning platform with six radars and a satcom set for communications the ultra wide band radars 
are said to be capable of detecting even a stealth aircraft of US like F-22 Raptor and F-35 with very high accuracy. It is powered by a turbofan engine and can fly up to a ceiling of 18 kilometers. Some experts claim the ceiling to be even 25 kilometers. The most interesting part is that Divine Eagle UAV has a huge 42 meter wingspan which is 2 meter longer than the largest UAV of USA, the Global Hawk or RQ-4. China claims an upper hand in size, ceiling and detection range against the US stealth aircraft. Next, we'll be talking about WZ-7, which is an unmanned air vehicle of high altitude, long endurance, hail type featuring an unusual joint tandem wing plan. The service status of the aircraft has been confirmed in 2018 by satellite pictures showing the presence of WZ-7s deployed to various different air bases around China such as deployment of WZ-7s to Tibet during the Doklam standoff with India back in 2017 as well as the presence of WZ-7s based in the South China Sea. More recently, nine WZ-7s were seen at a single airbase in Jilin province facing the Korean Peninsula. The production of WZ-7s is thought to be active. The production of WZ-7s is thought to be active and ongoing, but similar to PLA's mail drones, the exact number of WZ-7s in service is not known, nor is their organizational structure. The primary mission of WZ-7 is expected to be aerial reconnaissance, but it is anticipated that aircraft will also be fitted with sensors suitable for designating naval vessels for targeting anti-ship ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. Now, the big question is why are we lagging behind the China, especially in drones technology? The real answer lies in the research and the investment done by India and China. China has been feverishly focused on its UAV program over the last one decade and developed a series of new models. Some recent reports in the Western media claim that China may have overtaken the US in the area of unmanned aircraft. The Chinese government gave a free hand to encourage universities, students and manufacturers to produce UAVs in the last 10 years. India has also progressed in the same direction though very late. We have made detailed video on India's drone program which is ongoing. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.